Hi guys, in this video, we will use KNN classification addressing the anomaly that was there in our first video on KNN. So what was that anomaly? Let us discuss that. See, earlier when we created 10 data points, we grouped them randomly and that approach is not correct. Why? Let us read these comments. Items or data points in each group is bound to have similar characteristics to each other. Hence, grouping data points randomly does not make any sense. Meaning that look, assuming that we are talking about these two data points, if they are similar in their characteristics, then they should belong to the same group. Thereby, they should have same color code. If they are having two different color codes, means what? We are suggesting that they are two different groups. But it makes no sense. Look at this particular chart. We are telling that there are two groups and they are everywhere. You have yellow and brown everywhere totally mixed up and look at this chart here we can say that there are two clusters one is denoted by yellow color the other is denoted by brown color right so this should be the approach now how we will create clusters like this we will use k means algorithm so that is precisely what we are doing so this is how we are taking care of the anomaly that existed in our video number one on KNN. So let us import these libraries. The additional library is k-means to create clusters. And then we will create 10, 100 data points, x variable, y variable each will have 10 random values and then here earlier we were using this right having created 100 now we are going to create 100 values 0 and 1 0 denoting group 1 1 denoting group 2 and then when we draw a scatter plot it will look like this which we are saying is not logical so what is going to be logical look we will create two clusters using k means algorithm and when we do this and we will see here what will happen we have two logical groups See, if they are similar in characteristics, all of LO will be together and there is no question of brown data point getting here. Okay, There's, there will be some boundary and you will not find yellow over here anywhere. But yes, logically, there are two clusters. So we will use this and carry on with our KNN task. That is classification using KNN. Okay. So, now what we will do? This time, we are creating some, like earlier, we will create randomly a test data point or a sample data point. And we will try to find out nearest neighbors to that data point. First, we will try to find out three neighbors, then five neighbors, seven, nine, eleven. And then majority voting will decide as to which group our sample data point belongs. Okay. So here, let us run this. This is three. This is five. 7, 9, 11. Absolutely no problem. Every time since our sample data point is here, every time 
all it is all the neighbors are from yellow group so there is absolutely no conflict no issue assuming that we will try to keep our sample data point over here then what will happen and that is going to be interesting so let us copy this where we'll try to keep we'll try to keep somewhere here at the middle maybe here 50 and 50 okay so let us un remove this comment and comment this and let us run this and just see this is going to be interesting okay so three neighbors all from yellow group when we are increasing neighbors as five still yellow right yes we will make it seven only one from brown six from yellow so what will happen in majority voting our test data point will be considered to be belonging to yellow here also yellow here also yellow okay then now this time nine still yellow why because there are only two from brown then what happens here only three from brown again yellow so whether it was three neighbors five neighbors seven neighbors nine neighbors eleven neighbors every time our yellow group one over brown group that is fine but that will not be the case always right let us rerun this entire thing and just see we will just try to change it i think that was 50 uh, and 55 we will make it uh, 50 and 50 so somewhere here it will come okay let us make it 50 50 so it will be a little different as compared to earlier results right so c3 okay five still still yellow still yellow now just see when we are talking about 11 neighbors our brown group wins over yellow group which means when we are considering 11 neighbors we will say that our test data point belongs to brown but if it is nine we'll say it belongs to yellow yellow seven yellow five yellow and two also yellow that's all so let us recap what we did in this uh, video we only changed the way we are approaching the clustering of our data points we have used k means to create two clusters and then we are dealing with k and n classification we should not create data points like clustering like this randomly we should avoid that it makes no sense and why here because all the data points in a given group will share some similar characteristics so it will never be the case right we will not have a scatter plot like this we have to create two groups using k-bins that's all in this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the upcoming video